A falcon hovers at the edge of the sky. Two gulls drift slowly up the river. Vulnerable while they ride the wind, they coast and glide with ease. Dew is heavy on the grass below. The spider's web is ready. Heaven's way include the human. Among a thousand sorrows, I stand alone. At the edge of heaven, tatters of autumn cloud. After ten thousand miles of clear, lovely morning, the west wind arrives here. Long rains haven't slowed farmers' frontier. Willows air thin kingfisher colors and red fruit flecks mountain pears as a flute's mongrel song discs from a tower of one goose climbs clear through vacant skies. Could I get mansions covering ten thousand miles? I'd house all the poor scholars and make them beam with smiles. To a country be sundered hills and rivers endure, and spring comes green again to trees and grasses, where petals have been shed like tears, and lonely bears, birds have sung their grief. After the war fires of three months, one message from home. Is worth a ton of gold. I stroke my white hair, and it's grown too thin to hold the hairpins anymore. Wagons rattling and banging, horses neighing and snorting, conscripts marching each with bow and arrows at his hips, fathers and mothers, wives and children, running to see them off. So much dust kicked up, you can't see Zag Zag Bridge, and the families pulling out their clothes, stamping feet in anger, blocking the way and weeping. Ah, the sound of their wailing rises straight up to a salt heaven, and a passerby asks, "What's going on?" The soldier says simply, "This happens all the time. From age fifteen, some are sent to guard the north, and even at forty, some work the army farms in the west. When they leave home, the village headman has to wrap their turbans for them. When they come back." White-haired, they're still guarding the frontier. The frontier post runs with blood enough to fill an ocean, and the war-loving emperor dreams of conquest have still not ended. Separation by death must finally be choked down, but separation in life is a long anguish. Chengdu is a pestilent land. No word from you there in exile. You've been in my dreams, old friend, as if knowing how much I miss you. Caught in a net, how is it you still have wings? I fear you are no longer mortal. The distance is here. To here is enormous. When your spirit came, the maples were green. When it went. Passes were black. The setting moon spoils light on the rafters. For a minute, for a moment, I think it's your face. The waters are deep, <clears throat> the waves wide. Don't let the river gods take you. Shine, clear dew, aching with light, drifting, drifting. What am I more than a single gull between sky and earth? When light and time ever revolve, let us then enjoy life as best we can from the winding river. My path 
is full of petals. I have swept it for no others. My thatch gate has been closed, but opens now for you. It's a long way to the market. I can offer you little. Yet here, in my cottage, there's old wine for our cups. Beneath the light, the river and hills are beautiful. The spring breeze bears the fragrance of flowers and grass. The mud has thawed, and sh- shallows fly, fly around. On the warm sand, mandarin duck, ducks are sleeping. Two yellow oracles sing under emerald willows. One line of white egrets ascend clear skies. Window frames. Western rigged snow of a thousand autumns, door moves, eastern woo, a boat of ten thousand.